this is the last garbage plastic bag that I'm gonna buy, hopefully. Um, at least while I do my little experiment. So yeah, last plastic bag and I don't have any more. So I'm kind of scared, but also happy to try this. Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Venya and today I want to talk to you about my bin liners that I made basically three seconds ago. <laughs> For a while now I kind of have been struggling with some issue concerning my waste and that might sound a bit strange but as I'm trying to reduce my plastic waste and I think I reduce I have managed to reduce this quite a lot. There was still one thing that I was facing that I thought is so unnecessary to buy, first of all, to spend money on it. And then again, it just holds something that um, has, there has to be another way how to kind of uh, transport it or store it. And that is trash and the bin liners that you buy, like the plastic bags where you just put your trash in to bring it outside. So I kind of struggle with those things. I know they're little things, but they kind of keep me busy. So I'm for the past couple of months, I actually have been thinking about some way of not having to buy any plastic bags. And I used up all the left ones that I had. And then I looked up and I saw many instructions for um, paper bin liners, but that is not an option for me because my bins are like quite big. They're like this big and if I fold some paper bags, then there is no way they can go all the way to the bottom. Um, so I kind of had to find another solution for that. And literally a couple of days ago, I thought I found a solution and I tried it and I think it is working. So I'm going to keep you updated on that. But um, what I did was I had an old shower curtain, which I didn't use anymore because it was really thin and... Um, it didn't really do its job and um, it's it's nice, it's a nice one, but I kind of didn't like it and I bought a new one, I, I know, no more plastic, but um, I didn't want to throw the old one away, but I couldn't use it, so I had to do something with it and what I did is that I did the exact thing that there are tutorials for, for paper um, bin liners, I did the same tutorial just for the um, shower curtain ones and I want to show you how I did that because I'm quite proud of what I did there. And yeah, so what I did first is that I lay it out on the ground. I, of course, I cleaned it and then I lay it out on the ground and I tried to fold it, but it ended up being like too big. There was just too much plastic and too many layers of plastic um, on top of each other. So I kind of cut it in half, tried the same thing again, but again, I didn't feel like the bin liner was um, like small enough for my purpose. So I halved it again and then I think I finally managed to get the size that I really like. I still have to test it and that is gonna be at the end of this video. I'm gonna try one week and see how it works if it has got any leaks or something. Um, but yeah, that was what I was pretty happy with and I put it in my bin and yeah, I... Currently, of course, the shower of course the shower curtain is a lot bigger. So I actually got four um, squares of plastic that I can use as my bin liners. And the great thing about you having a shower curtain is that you can actually reuse it a lot of times. And when the shower curtain is broken, I still have to find another way of how to um, store my trash, basically. But for now, it's just very easy. Whenever I take my trash out, I just take the shower curtain, unfold it, and then I wash it. <laughs> it's pretty easy because it dries really quick and it's also not very like sensitive and it's also quite um, stable. So you cannot, it cannot really tear like a plastic bag because it's just like a bit thinner material, uh, thicker material, sorry. I am really excited about this and this is like the most improvised video I think I've ever done in my life, but I'm just really excited. So let me show you how the bin, uh, what the bin looks like. So this, is so this is actually the smaller one of my bins. The bigger one is there because I still have to um, clean the kitchen. But that is what it looks like. So I put it in there and um, the bin liner goes a bit over the metal container that is inside. 
But yeah, that is what it looks like. And I already put something in there. <laughs> Sorry. And yeah, so you cannot see it from outside. And I really like it. And let's see how it goes. So now, because you just saw me um, folding the bag from a really bad angle, <laughs> I just wanted to show you the process and how I did it. But now I'm also going to show you what folding technique I use. And it's pretty simple. And I'm going to show you with some paper because I think that is more visible with that. So the thing is, you don't need any glue um, or anything. You just need a paper, a piece of paper or many layers of it. I'm going to try with one paper and you need a pair of scissors. So um, what I advise you to do first is fold it in half so you've got a bit smaller than you want to form a square. So by folding it like that you can just cut this off. Like that you won't need this anymore. Then you have a square like this and you fold it into a triangle like that. And then you just take this one end, so you have the largest side on this. Then you fold the one end to here and this end on this side. And this is what it should look like. So first this and then this. And then what you do, you have this split thing up here. And if you fold the one side to this side and the other side to here. And then you can actually just open it up. And if you do this with the paper bag, it can even, it's quite stable actually. It doesn't stand, but then you can use this as a bin liner. So this is just a really small one. What happened with the one that I made from plastic is that it's not as stable so it won't stay so what I did is as soon as I went up to this step I took a clip that I could remove again and I clipped this here so I was sure that I mean it's not flat it's not very stable in itself but at least this won't like open again as soon as I put it in the bin so I put a clip here and then I did exactly the same thing folded this one over this one over and then I put it in the bin. So I'll see you in a couple of days with an update. And that was my watch. So it's apparent. <laughs> Hello, it's about one week after I shot the last bit of the video, and now I want to check my trash and see if it's full so if I can take it out and show you what I do with the reusable bin liner. So I have my trash right here and yeah, it is pretty full. So I am going to take it out and then um, show you what I do with it and um, how I change it basically and if it works. <laughs> I just took it out like this and now I am gonna bring it outside. The clip I'm gonna leave here so I don't lose it because that would be very unfortunate. back and this is my uh, bin liner. I just emptied it and now I have the big piece of shower curtain and now I'm gonna show you how I clean it. Sorry there's a fly here somewhere so the first thing I do is that I put it in the sink and then I take the part where the rubbish was as you can see it's like dirty here and I rinse that down. That should be fairly easy because, I mean, after all, it is a shower curtain. <laughs> 
and then whoops sorry <laughs> yeah that always happens to me and after that I just take some washing soap I just wash it in the sink in, in the beginning I thought about washing it in my shower but then again I kind of didn't want to do that because I shower in my shower and I want to clean myself and there's trash in here so I really didn't want to do it that would be easier maybe and if you want to do that go ahead and do it but I decided to do it in the sink which makes it a bit more complicated but um, yeah I don't really care <laughs> So when I'm done washing and I'm sure all sides are like cleaned up and have foam on them, then I just rinse it. Okay, and when all the foam is gone, then I just take it, make sure that it's not dripping wet and then I hang it up in my shower because it's all nice and clean. And now the only thing left to do is take another one of my shower curtain squares and fold it into another trash bin, put it in the bin and then I'm done. So this is of course a lot more complicated than buying plastic bags and it might seem a bit like over the top. Like creating reusable bin liners is just something that I wanted to do and I thought maybe it would help other people too to see how I did it. But um, yeah, this is definitely not something that you have to do, but I thought it was a cool idea. <laughs> so I wanted to share it and yes, that was it from me. And I hope you enjoyed this little video and I hopefully see you in the next one with maybe another crazy idea that I have on my little zero waste and minimalism journey. So see you then, bye.